Hey everybody, it's Austin from the Best I Can Afford Antiques channel. I got a new microphone. I hope you can hear me. I hope it's beautiful. I'm just kidding. I'm not, I am not the songbird of my generation. <laughs> Without further ado, let me show you, hold on. Let me, let me see if this focus is going to work at all. Okay. So, uh, that's my cat, Biddy. I probably shouldn't have left the, uh, the antique room door open because she just jumped up on the table and then jumped up on the tallest shelf in this room. <sighs> She's not polite. Uh, her name is Biddy and uh, her name is Biddy because she is bitter not because she's a little bit of anything. She is a bitter, bitter creature. <laughs> I'm glad you guys, uh, glad you guys got to meet her. <laughs> All right. Well, let's check this out. My wife went to the antiques mall because uh, she had to meet a friend. And uh, she started sending me pictures and asking me what she should buy. Now, we did buy a couple of junk things, uh, a couple of reproductions. Um, I didn't mind too much if they were reproductions because I want to do a video on reproductions and what you should and shouldn't buy. But this is something you should buy. This is a Japanese Satsuma pottery gold decorated hand painted I believe it's a mustard dish now my wife got she got six of these she got six of these for twelve dollars okay now <clears throat> oh hold on we got a little too much light I think we gotta undo some of this glare uh, are we on white light what do you think yep we're on white light okay let's do this okay so you see like the um look at the little fire cloud in the bottom right hand corner so if these weren't hand painted they would all be the exact same you know they would just print them off everything would be fine but here we have two lovely lovely little hand painted um, I don't know what you would call that gold work I mean I'm sure there's a word for it probably a Japanese word um, but yeah you can see they're all hand painted I mean they're all the same general shape and character but uh, I mean they're definitely all individual and this is actually pretty neat they're all marked and that is um, am I looking at it the right way? it looks a little different from the way I was just looking at it but that is marked Satsuma in their native um, vocabulary uh, you see it doesn't quite look like Japanese but that's the way that particular um, I don't want to say culture because it's the Japanese culture obviously but Satsuma potters had their own uh, writing and uh, kanji and stuff I think but that definitely says Satsuma so yeah these are probably Meiji era mustard dishes because they're still signed in Japanese uh, any later than 19 like 11 uh, most of this stuff would have been started uh, marking it Nippon which is uh, just what Japanese people call Japan. That's that's what their country's called, if you're ever curious. Here's two more. Uh, this one's got a little sticker residue on it, but no big deal. We can clean that right off. And they're all, they've all got that little signature there. There's four. Like I said, they're pretty similar. But yeah, I mean, Japanese stuff from the Meiji era is of extreme interest to me. I. I think it's so fascinating that they made these little bowls by hand and then hand decorated all of them. I mean, somebody pretty special probably bought these back in the day. Hey, don't get in that box. I'm sorry. Like I said, my antique room is open right now. So uh, I've got a cat trying to climb in a box that is strictly filled with packing peanuts. It's not the best. All right, what else do we got here? <clears throat> So this is all just a little collection of tiny little pottery stuff that my wife bought without me, basically. Uh, she spotted all of this on her own. She did an excellent job. This is probably, I mean, this is obviously very tiny. We did not pay much for any of this stuff. Uh, you know, maybe like $2 or something for these littler pieces. But this appears to be uh, genuine Arita pottery, which I'm, you know, I'm sure it's not worth a whole lot. But it's worth the two dollars just to spend a little time looking at that don't you think and again this is probably hand painted um there's no mark what's oh oh 
I am a fool. I don't know what that mark is. I didn't realize this one had one, so I didn't look that up at all. But do you see how white this pottery is? Arita pottery from Arita, Japan, is like the whitest pottery you could possibly get. And it's because they have um, native white stones, you know, like a chalk-like chalk white stone that they make the pottery out of. And then uh, they apparently have like the best wood you could get for firing that type of pottery. And then their water is ultra clean too. So Arita, Japan. Um, this bowl is nothing. I believe this is like a, a printed on design. I'm gonna try and uh, I'm gonna try and do a little uh, a little thing about printed designs and stuff later. But you see the bottom's just ivory Hoya by Akichi. Which, I mean, it's still a very pretty bowl. I like the bamboo on them and stuff. Very simplistic design. It's very in with Japanese style. Uh, they don't like to throw a lot of hullabaloo around, you know? They like to have a very, a very simple and straight design. So yeah, we're just doing a little, a little Japanese pottery video today. Look at this guy. Also, also Satsuma. Uh, anyone can correct me if I'm wrong about any of this, but I did look this up and uh, granted, you know, if somebody paints this by hand, it doesn't always end up exactly the same. So, I mean, there's a little variation in there, but I believe that says Satsuma too. And then, wait, hold on, let's, let's compare some. Com compare, per, per, per. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know now. Maybe that's not... Uh... I think that's the right way for the Satsuma. I could I could well be wrong. Maybe those aren't the same. Yeah, I guess not. But, you know, it could be a thing separated by age, you know? Like, look at that middle kanji. It's kind of a, on this left one, it's kind of a swirly gig. But on that right one, it's kind of a question mark. So, I mean, you know, it could just be that they're trying to make the same mark, but separated by 50 years or so. I, I'm really not positive. But you can feel them both. You can feel that one's hand, I mean, you can feel that that's uh, put on there with paint or, you know, whatever it is after, after firing the thing. So yeah, and then look at that. I mean, that's awfully pretty, isn't it? Now I really did save the best for last because there's a, there's a little rice bowl over here that is probably gonna blow your minds. <laughs> I was pretty amazed with it, honestly. So I think uh, that little, that little, um, you know, regular manufacturer pot, and then that bowl I just showed you, and then this bowl all came together in a lot for four dollars. <coughs> I know, a bit pricey, a bit pricey. Now, now, look at that fella. Now that is fancy pants, no matter when it's from. It's definitely hand painted. I love these gray swirls in the background behind this gold dragon. What a beautiful juxtaposition. I mean, that is good looking, isn't it? $4 for all three of these. And look at that. You can feel that that's actually put on by hand with a layer over the <clears throat> final glaze. And it's still there, you know, still got the whole thing. That's pretty awesome. This little uh, gold design down here, that's pretty neat. It's pretty well done. It's a shame we're missing tiny little pieces of it, but that's not a huge deal, I wouldn't think. I mean, as long as that main piece there is still intact, I think we're cooking with something. <clears throat> Probably Mount Fuji, maybe just a mountain in general. But that, that seems like our fella there. Fujiyama. I don't want to. I don't want to act like I don't respect the whole name. See now, this this is a bit different of a mark, and it's got that mark on the side. So I'm really not sure. I mean, I'm gonna I'm gonna be inclined to believe that this is also Satsuma, but I do think that maybe it was made by a special person who made Satsuma. Because I mean, to have two marks on it, like. I mean, you know, maybe this is Satsuma, and then this is the actual artist, or maybe that just says something about the design. I'm really not sure. You know, again, I'd love to have people that can read Japanese or Chinese or 
whatever weird languages I buy stuff in. And just white inside, that's probably Arita Pottery too. Just, you know, designed and uh, decorated by Satsuma people. But, you know, maybe. I don't, I'm not entirely positive. I'm not trying to say uh, <clears throat> um, Satsuma people didn't make their own pottery. I'm really not too sure about that. This is not my... Uh, this is not my even area of imitation expertise. What do you guys think about my shelf back there? Do you guys like that now? Having some other stuff to look at while we talk about this stuff? I think it's kind of neat. But you're the customer. The customer is always right. Unless you're talking to me. In which case, I don't care. No, I'm just kidding. I like you guys. So yeah, that's what we got. I think um, maybe like 15 bucks for all of that. And yeah, I'm almost positive it's worth more. I mean, this is, you know, this is nothing at all. <laughs> I mean, 99 cents if anybody would even buy it. But these other items, I mean, you know, I mean, that's lovely. Some of this stuff's worth just having around in your house, you know? It's, why not pay it a little respect, give it a little place of tribute? And, you know, for something like this, you, you know, I don't want to jinx it, but... You can have this hanging or sitting somewhere and not have to worry every day about it just, you know, disintegrating on you or your cat knocking it on a, off a shelf or... You hear that, Bits? You better watch yourself in here, buddy. <laughs> it's because I have two moving blankets up on the top of that shelf there. And, uh, you know, for when I buy bigger stuff like a china cabinet or whatever, but... Uh... But, yeah... I think we did really well on this. I think my wife did really well on this. She has a pretty good eye. She was spotting out some pretty good stuff there. You can see uh, you can see where the design's actually laid in by hand in what I assume is, you know, some sort of real gold powder uh, put into some sort of uh, glue or dust or, I mean, glue or paste or something. I mean, I have to assume. I don't know where you would get a gold color like that if it weren't for actual gold. But yeah, uh, the Japanese have a really interesting uh, repair technique. Uh, I, oh, I can't think of what it's called right now. Um, I'm sorry, but it's a technique that they use to repair pottery typically. So if something like this had broken, what they would do is uh, glue it back together and then, well, you know, obviously some sort of special glue and stuff, but uh, they would glue it back together, and then uh, on the outside layer of that glue, they'll, you know, sprinkle just a little bit of gold powder, and uh, it's like an effort to make something more beautiful than it was before, even though it's broken now. And I mean, you know, they use gold dust just to fix stuff. I imagine they used gold dust just to paint stuff. I mean, that is, that is a shiny boy. I'm sorry, I wasn't very much fun today, was I? I was just talking about antiques. What a jerk. God, Austin, know your audience. You hear that I bought a new microphone? You, does it sound better? I hope so. I hope all of this is starting to go a little better. All right. Okay, all right, this is Austin at the Best I Can Afford Antiques channel. Candace is my uh, co-producer for this particular video. I appreciate her going to the Antiques Mall and getting some stuff. We got some pretty neat stuff at that Antiques Mall, honestly. I'm going to show you this box next time. I think he's, uh, you know, he's not vintage. He's not a master. I mean, he's, he's vintage. He's not an antique, I don't think. And he's not a masterpiece or anything, but I think you'll like him. He's a pretty neat little deal. All right. Austin of the Best I Can Afford Antiques channel, and I will catch you later, everybody.